So I want you to get nice and loud for these boys as we come into the last few fights. Let's bring out, in the blue corner, Tai Uto! The crowd has gone absolutely wild for this one. So I, I believe all of Inala have come out for this. Tai Uto uh, representing uh, Inala. He's, uh, this, this will be a very, very interesting fight. He's, uh, he's, he's ready to put on tonight. So Tai Uto coming out wearing the blue, really enjoying this walk in, soaking in every minute of it. You'll also see that uh, Tai sports the uh, Samoan Beta, which is worn by UFC fighters Tyson Pedro, uh, Justin Tuffer, and uh, Tai Tuivasa. So you'll, you'll see those familiar markings on, on Tai. Another former rugby player, so you know, a very, very powerful man. He's powerful on the ground, he's, he's powerful standing up. Uh, he'll, he'll be looking to use his hands here, but he's, uh, he's very well-rounded and very, very powerful. He certainly has a very strong build as well. Just that natural strength. So he's credited fighters such as Jaiel Pattaya, as people that- Who's going to see Ty win? Let's bring in the red corner, Tom Hick. And Tom Hick making his walk out. Another one of the boys fighting out at it Game Bread Ignite as well, coming out now. Uh, so Tom Hicks actually uh, stepped in the cage previously. Uh, he, uh, he fought Matt Terrell and he wasn't victorious on that night. Uh, but he's uh, he's been doing a lot of training under Ryan, Ryan Dunstan up at Ignite. Great to see. Previously uh, born up at Innisfail. Um, yeah, as you mentioned before, he's, he's, he's gone through the program, his second fight. See what kind of experience he brings to the cards tonight. And the band is still going backwards and forwards between the uh, coaches. Now another uh, Ignite versus uh, Gamebred, and uh, Lonnie is uh, he's he's death staring right across the cage. Yeah, in saying that, he also has Sonny sitting next to him, so uh, he's got a bit of backup there. If he gets challenged, at that's all. here for Tom. These are some big units. Don't blink, edge of the seat stuff here. This is our co-main event of the evening, a heavyweight bout, brought to you by Aussie Scaffolding. From the ultimate fight experience, in the blue corner, we have Ty Uto. And in the red corner, fighting out of ignite, it's Tom here. Don't be afraid to get loud, it's ultimate fight time. Mate, this is battle over haircuts. Oh, How good are they? We, we've got Tom Hick uh, in, the, in the red. <laughs> Look, yeah, Honey Badger. His coach Jeremy Green said uh, there's a bit of Miami Vice going. Yeah, we've got the we've got the mullet versus the curls. Nice leg kick there to open from Hick. Both men feeling each other out of it. Oh, We're already swinging big. Oh, oh big shot by These Hick. These boys are Hick. swinging for the fences. Nice job switching to a takedown there right, by he Hick. Almost got into a guillotine. He's just pushing through. Pushing through, doing really well. He's putting the pressure on, he's really putting a squeeze oh, on. Starting to cut that angle very well, but the head looks like it's about to poke yeah, out. Yeah, he's poked out. 
Good positioning here, and I love the urgency from both gentlemen. This was a really smart move from Hick as well in that early exchange. Get a takedown, try and slow the fight down a little bit, but I would have been very, very aggressive here with the guillotine submission. He went to another opposite guillotine side, pushing up against right in front of the commentary box here. So the guillotine is locked in, but he's looking to do a movement. I uh, don't want to really say everything because we've got the commentary box here. We don't want to give away giveaway points, but uh, he reversed it. Very competitive here in the grappling exchanges so far. Both He's doing a good job. Well, so now that, that, that movement's passed, it was going to be a von Fluv uh, choke that uh, he was uh, Hick was setting up. But um, from that point, he had Otto was a bit aware of it, so he was able to move around and stop it from happening. Otto was trying to s get out of that side, but he's, he's holding on to that neck. And you can see one of the reasons why. Um, why Hick is still being able to move is he's able to move his hips up and he's able to get movement and create oxygen space. So doing a good job A-framing like that as well, using his head as a pose to try and take some of the pressure off, but that guillotine is getting tighter and tighter. And he's able to keep clicking in on it. So from this point here, he's just pushing through. The neck's about to pop over. He's out again. Excellent defensive work there by Hick, but also some very good offense with the gates in there by Otto. And for those who are like, just joining us or if you're watching this at a later date, one of the reasons um, this movement is working is you're not able to strike to the head of a ground opponent with C-class. That's what the uh, shin pads are on for as well. So good quality wrestling here. And uh, at this point here, we had Otto was very offensive with those guillotines in place. And Hick is just pressuring down, pressuring down. It's also taken out a lot of the quick movements that uh, Otto was doing earlier. Hick's starting to circle towards the back here. Nearly had that arm isolated, but good awareness there by Otto to get that arm back. So this hit here should, should drain a lot of Otto's energy, which is what Hick wants. Absolutely. Good round there for Hick. Just sitting in the mind of Hick there before. He had a free arm and there was a face there. He did really, really good quality restraint not to throw a punch. Absolutely. I mean, the fact that we haven't really seen any of the rules get broken tonight, you know, just, again, shows the level of dedication and work that these fighters have put into learning the sport, both the technical side of it, but how to conduct yourself in a fight. Early on, um, Otto walks through a few of those kicks from uh, Hick with just a smile on his face like, I'm not phased. Absolutely. And really, really pushed it on. So Ryan Dunstan there just in, in the corner of Tom Hick and just, just telling him to, to keep doing what he's doing. You know, he's, he's doing well. He's, he's he kept Otto, Otto there on, on the cage the whole time and, and was firing him out. it would be curious to see if the second round opens up similar to the first in terms of the big flurry of exchange of punches here in the beginning. I think Otto will want to get this round back, and I think he'll be very, very fast and furious with his hands. But in saying that, Hick just seems to be there. Beautiful, quick, quick here. Oh. Hands there. Big uh, coming back from Hick as Otto was looking to close distance. Nice leg kick there by Hick as well. So Otto's in the southpaw stance wearing the blue gloves, and we've got Hick in the red in an orthodox stance. Otto was very, very quick with that left hand through as well. Obviously, he's sitting behind a few jabs, just setting up that left hand. These are some big units, and there's a lot of power behind those punches. And again, Hick wisely shooting for the double there as the exchange is Hands getting. Hands are class. Is he going to take him for or is he going to suck his hips out? He's well, being he's called to suck the hips out and get down low. Well, he's doing a good job, though, kind of using that uh, that S grip over the top to kind of lift him up. But now it looks like Hicks going to maybe cut to a single leg. Yeah, he has gone to the single leg, so is he going to filter out? He has yeah. finished it off. Just turned the corner and turned the corner enough to take the pressure off. He's getting that top leg over almost in a mount position. The only thing separating the mount is that ne that left knee of Otto right now. He's there now. He's just sucking in. 
And it's the double overhooks is what's stopping him from being able to progress through. Absolutely. One hit, one tear is head height in this position. That is crucial in keeping Otto on the ground. And we can see him as well, gripping that far wrist, trying to keep him pinned down as he is advancing his way up on the mount. But Otto doing a very good job sliding out. Oh, actually really impressed with Otto's fight awareness. Twice he almost went to grab the cage by instinct and didn't. Just That just shows his level of comfort here. Oh, he's giving up his he's not panicking. Here. He's not panicking, he's, he's looking, so Otto is looking to use the cage to peel Hick off, and Hick's trying to stop that from happening. Really, really good quality fight IQ for the, the fact that the boys are uh, going through this program. It's something we've seen all night is, you know, these fighters not necessarily panicking when they wind up in, you know, positions they're taken down or they're getting hit with a couple of punches. You know, the calmness here is excellent, but Hick really starting to wear on that back. It shows they've done the work. Absolutely. So right now, Otto, he's, he's, he's getting the call here. Smart Ronnie move. was telling him to roll, to roll him around. A smart move there by Otto. As soon as he felt the weight from Hick come off, Otto knew that was the time to stand up. And he's going to start to work his way up. But he has got to be careful here. Good work. Just the power to stand up. A big uppercut. The boys didn't realize the, the, the timer had gone off. <laughs> Brutality at its best. The boys are going at it. I'm really impressed with both of them. As we can see in the uh, replay here, just some high quality wrestling, switching out from the double into the single, turning the corner. And I'm really, really impressed with Otto's resilience and grit. Absolutely. To have someone of that size on your back, fully flat, to be able to defend and step up, using the cage and just peeling them off arguably one of the hardest positions to work your way out of is being on bottom flattened out with someone on your back especially when you are you have two behemoths like this in the cage i find tapping makes it easy to get out yep, mate. absolutely <laughs> <laughs> not quite the result you want yeah, though. exactly <laughs> not ideal the tie knows he's he's gonna leave nothing in the tank probably gonna need a, a knockout here Hick just looking to stick to the plan. Nice snappy jab there though by Otto. He's going oh, he's at trying it. Trying to let those hands go. What I like there though was Otto backed out after the swarm. He didn't just stay in there, which is where he's gotten taken down. So already it's showing he's making some adjustments in this fight. Also just goes to show, like he also is aware that if he gets caught there, there's enough power by Hick that all it takes is a punch to these, these boys' size. Whoa. Huge head move by Hick. Goes a knee up the middle. All right, good respect there. Wasn't sure. Keep going. Boys are at it. Our referee Nathan's like, keep going, buddy. Just keep going. Oh, oh head kick there. That head kick was absolutely flush. Portal aided, and now oh, he's coming showing back. by oh. Hick. He's going to push into the cage here. Phenomenal, he's got an S grip, he's turned the corner. Otto took that head kick flush and didn't flinch. Smart there, I think, by Otto to let go of that guillotine and maybe not focus on gassing out his arms here in the third round, but Hick just back to work what he's been doing the last two rounds on top, maintaining that heavy pressure. That's it, he's dragged him right to his corner and right in, right in front of his coach, Ryan Dunstan. So Dunstan's just coaching we Hick right there. You can see him almost trying to set up a head arm, but it is hard with the cage there. Can't really cut off and get a really good angle on that choke. Good work. And the best thing is, is he's looking over his corner. He can't finish the head and arm from there. And Otto is aware that he can't finish it from here. Big explosive Hicks movement by Otto and Hick back. right onto that back control. And Hick was able to stop the momentum of a secondary explosive movement. He hasn't got the second hook in here, so he is at risk of being pushed over. Otto, look it has got the, it, the neck is in there. It's not quite under the chin. And his second hand isn't clear, but it is enough pressure to make them think and wonder. 
And it almost looks like Otto might reverse the position here and end up on top, but Hick seems fairly wise to it oh, and is going to transition to now. 30 seconds left in the round. And that's the thing, it's those 50-50s and being able just to, um, to capitalize on them. Both boys are putting it all in here. Last 15 seconds now. Hicks just almost stepped over the mount. Otto stopped it. Excellent control here by Hick and amazing grit and determination by Otto. This is another fighting. one that's gone to the judges. The sign of the respect. The boys know they've been in the fight. There's not much energy between the two of them now. Here we go, see some of the replays. There's that head kick, oh. landed flush. See how, his weight come off him. How Otto is still standing after that is phenomenal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our co-main event here absolutely delivered. It just has the rest of this card has. It's been an amazing night of fights here tonight and we are not done yet. We've got our main event to come as well as a special event afterwards. So I'm not sure who's won who's winning fight of the night so far. These two are the haircuts tonight. Yeah. Hicks also sporting a little mo as well. He's really fully fully locked into this one. I'm saying it on commentary, not saying it to his face though. No yeah. way. The damage he just caused on that round. Just relentless wrestling pressure. Absolutely, and did well as well to survive big swarms from Otto, because those were some powerful punches sitting here at commentary desk, you know, seeing and hearing the impact live, you know, to survive that is huge. Otto was throwing those punches with no regard for human life as well. If one of them hit, it's lights out. All right, it's gone to the judges' scorecards. What a fight. We've got a unanimous decision to the red corner. Tom Shots exchanged there, I think you could say. We, is that what you're expecting? A bit of a slugfest? Oh, yeah, I knew he, I knew he was going to come forward with some heavy, heavy shots. So, yeah, so that no, was, yeah, it was good. <laughs> Mate, you put on a pretty good display, both of you boys. What's next for you in MMA? Is this your first fight? Are you going to keep going with it? Uh, this is my, my third one. I got another uh, boxing match on next weekend. And, uh, yeah, I just, just, just keep them coming, eh? <laughs> Beautiful, mate. Was well, there anyone else you want to say thanks? Anything else you want to add? Uh, thank you to uh, Ignite and Gamebred. The, the, they changed my life for the better. Um, and of course, my friends and every, my family, everyone who supports me. Nothing but love. Great effort. Good luck in the boxing fight. Enjoy the night.